Hey everyone, it's Lewis. I wanted to talk about a couple subjects. The title of this video might sound a little bit harsh, but I guess I just wanted to get people's attention because there's a few things that I feel people need to be educated on. And sometimes I'll torture myself a bit by scrolling through YouTube and reading really ignorant comments on transgender people's videos. But I just wanted to clear a few things up really and also update everybody on what I've been going through. So I had the first stage of my lower surgery done just almost two weeks ago now. And I haven't gone with um, the surgery that is more commonly known called the phalloplasty, which is where you take the skin graft from your arm. I've actually gone with a surgery called the metodioplasty. And in order for me to explain this surgery properly, I'm going to have to go into a bit of detail about what testosterone does to um, transgender guys. Um, when you take testosterone, it actually enhances what you've got down below. When, when a baby's in the womb, um, it actually always starts out as female. But then if there's enough testosterone, then those same parts grow to form the male anatomy. Um, and that's essentially what taking testosterone does as a transgender guy um, down there will grow. So I already have a penis. I already see myself as having male parts. The surgery called the metodioplasty that I'm going with actually just enhances that, that part um, and rewires things so that you can pee through that part like any any other guy. You also at the final stage you get the scroplasty which is you know um, giving you implants for new balls. <laughs> so yeah that's a surgery that not that many people have uh, heard of and also there's this misconception that that surgery will make me a man. No, no, I'm already a guy and I already have male parts. I see myself as having male parts. So does my girlfriend. The surgery that I'm getting will just enhance that and make me feel more comfortable. Whether I choose to get that or not is completely, you know, irrelevant to, to me being a guy. My girlfriend is another um, topic that I wanted to, to talk about. Relationships. Um, you know, there's so many misconceptions about relationships with a transgender person. My girlfriend is straight, she's always been into guys. Uh, she never even knew that transgendered guys existed before meeting me. I know there's a lot of um, ignorance out there. To say that my girlfriend isn't straight or, you know, how could she be straight just because I haven't had lower surgery, well that is just completely uneducated. To think that way anyway, you're jumping straight to the sex part and assuming things that aren't true. There's so much more to a relationship than than sex. Obviously, it's about a person and making each other laugh and having fun together and that intimacy. But on the subject of sex, we have sex like any guy and girl would. I, I'm not that much different down there to a guy that isn't transgendered. She sees what I have as male. When you're in the bedroom, you want to please each other and does it really matter what what your parts look like? I thought that the main objective of sex was to just please each other and have a good time because unless I suppose you're having sex to make a baby, but that's a separate thing. But you know, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Little insignificant details like that. And it wasn't anything that my girlfriend had to get used to. It was just so natural. Um, so I think the main points I wanted to make in this video are uh, surgery doesn't make you any more of a man. You, my parts are, you know, I'm sure that a lot of transgender guys feel this way, already see their parts as male anyway, regardless of surgery. And secondly, relationships, I think to any anybody searching for the right person, it takes some time. Um, so it isn't easier or harder than, than the average person. It, I guess I can only speak from my own experiences, but I just believe that when you find the right person, they're going to like you for you and who cares what's down there. I really wanted to tackle that, you know, that misconception that um, I'm a transgender guy, I like girls and, and you know, there's people out there that probably wonder how I would get a straight girlfriend. But to me, it's just so simple. Me being transgender is, is very irrelevant to my relationship or to my previous relationships too. But yeah, everything's going really well at the moment in terms of, you know, me updating you on things. I've just had my first stage of the surgery. My girlfriend really looked after me. I've been staying at her house for a few weeks now. I think I've been driving her a bit crazy at times, just because it's been quite difficult. Um, 
well, I've been a bit panicky and nervous at certain things, you know, bleeding, etc. I'll go into a little bit about what the uh, first stage involved. Um, it, they actually take a skin graft from the inside of your mouth. They use this as part of what will be my new urethra, like the tube that I'll pee through, because obviously that needs to be extended. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like underneath my penis there's a bit of a slit and it's kind of opened up and then on the next this needs to heal and then on the next stage that will be closed up to form kind of a tube um which will be my new urethra or like my extended urethra so at the moment things are looking like not well a bit not weird but um, not how I expected down below, but that's completely normal. The next stage will be six months after this stage. And my mouth has been left inside as a, a big open wound, which has been really sore. I still can't smile 100% properly. Like, I feel like this side of my face is a bit paralysed. Yeah, it's been quite a painful process, but I'm just really happy that I've, that I've made that step. In fact, a type of this surgery is performed on biological guys too. Um, I saw an episode of Embarrassing Bodies the other day when, where this guy was like having difficulty peeing because his urethra was uh, restricted and closed up a bit. And they do the same thing. They take a skin graft from the inside of your mouth to like use it as part of that tube to open it up. So yeah, um, everything's going really well. Can't wait for the next stage of my operation. And I also want to say thank you to all of those people who have supported me and give me such lovely comments on Facebook, Twitter. Um, my girlfriend's been amazing. My mum came down um, to London all the way from up there in Manchester just for one day to be with me in the through the operation. And I've made a video. Well, my girlfriend made it, actually, I should say. I should credit her. She filmed the whole thing. Um, my Generation is the film project that Fox and I have created, and it's getting a lot of interest. We've got... A good few episodes on the way and my surgery is going to be one of those episodes it will be a bit more of a personal insight into my journey hopefully you'll check out those videos if anybody has any questions for me or my girlfriend then please don't hesitate to you know leave a comment or send me a message because yeah we're both really open people so well that's everything thank you for listening and yeah i'll make another update soon